Well, you remember this toothless grin, the one that belongs to Jordana Hubble of Whitefish, and what a difference three months makes. And this is her now, using really all of her might to try to sit up. The six-year-old suffered severe brain damage from being hit by a car while getting off the school bus. As she works to recover, her family tells me in an exclusive interview how they're working hard to make sure something good comes from this tragedy. It's my worst nightmare. Veronica Hubble struggles to find her words. It was kind of like one of those things where you feel like, okay, I'm going to wake up now. Like, even sleeping became hard afterwards, like even just days afterwards, because it was like even the bad dreams were better than reality. That's because for the past three months, she's been living a nightmare. But the reality is, her six-year-old daughter Jordana is lying in a hospital bed in a coma. You can see just how busy this stretch of Highway 93 is. Cars going by me at 70 miles per hour. And this is the exact location where tragedy struck the Hubble family on November 12th. Late that snowy afternoon, Jordana stepped off the school bus with her older brother and sister. She was crossing the road when she was hit by an oncoming car. There she is with chocolate again. She loves that bunny. I recently sat down with Veronica, Vo as she likes to be called. We sift through family photos as our little girl rests in another room at Montana Children's Hospital, not to be disturbed. A lot of fun this summer. She tells me she was attending classes at FVCC when her husband, Cody, called. I could just tell by the way he was acting because he doesn't, he's not like a overreactive person, but um, that something really was not right. And, uh, her mother's intuition was right. Something was awfully wrong with her baby girl. Jordana was in critical condition and rushed to a Kalispell ER. That's where Vo saw her for the first time. She had blood on the side of her face. You know, they let me go into the room just for a second to, you know, hold her hand and tell her I was there. I was really scared that, you know, we could lose her. Then doctors told her the unimaginable. Jordana suffered widespread damage to her brain. The not knowing is really the scariest part of the whole thing. The nature of brain injuries is we don't really know where she's going to end up in the long run. Miraculously, Jordana did not need surgery and she began breathing on her own. Her treatment shifted from medical care to cognitive and recovery care. And Vo spent every day and night with Jordana, sleeping, eating, even doing laundry at the hospital. Eventually, Jordana began moving her fingers, arms, and toes. And she kind of breaks into this grin that like, I feel like that's that's my girl and she knows that I'm there with her. But days of smiles were followed by days of tears. I wish she didn't have to go through any of this. And Jordana's family is vowing to take a stand against drivers who don't stop for school buses. This cell phone video was captured by a viewer just a few weeks ago in Kalispell. You can see not one, but two cars whizzing past the stopped school bus even with the yellow crossing arm extended. Last school year, similar situations led to the deaths of seven children across the country, including these siblings in Indiana. We've had drivers that have just, you know, sloughed us off as they pass by because they're in a hurry to get somewhere, and that's unacceptable. Rob Tracy is a transportation director for the Big Fork School District. When he heard about what happened to Jordana last November, he was devastated and concerned. People just seem to be in a hurry wherever they're going, or they're texting, or they're on the cell phone. In Montana, it's the law for drivers to stop when they see a bus with its red flashing lights on and stop sign arm out. That applies to all roads, except when a median separates the two sides. Tracy is all too familiar with these red runners, as he calls them. Ran blatantly through the reds. From September to October of 2018, they had 18 red runners on their eight routes. Pretty substantial. So this is the size of your average stop sign arm, and now all of the buses in Big Fork have been replaced with the longer stop sign arms, and they're telling me that they're already starting to see improvement. In fact, on the route where bus drivers experienced the most violations, Tracy says the number of Red Runner incidents was reduced to just one. 
And Big Fork isn't the only school district being proactive. Last year, the Butte School District equipped all 30 school buses with stop arm cameras. The new technology allows the bus driver to hit a panic button anytime a driver runs a stop sign arm, which alerts the Montana Department of Transportation. Back in the hospital room, Vo says the solution is simple. Red means stop. There's nothing so important in this world right now that you can't just pay a little more attention to what you're doing on the road. Vo tells me she's holding out hope for her daughter, as any mother would. Two weeks ago, Jordana entered a coma emergence program in Texas. She's no longer in a coma, and just look at her smile. Keep coming. And just look at her strength. Come on. Come on. I caught up with Vo over the phone. Once they changed the medication, she seemed less agitated and more alert. It was kind of just like relief. Like I felt like, okay, she's coming back to us now. Making a comeback to return to horseback riding, camping, and smiling from ear to ear. In Kalispell, I'm Angela Marshall, Montana Right Now. Now, the Flathead County Attorney's Office is reviewing paperwork to determine if charges will be filed against the driver who hit Jordana. In the meantime, her family wants to make something good come out of this tragedy. So they're working on Jordana's law to better educate drivers on when to stop for school buses and to create stiffer penalties for drivers who run the reds. We wish all the best of the Hubble family indeed. Well, folks, you just watched the season three premiere of The Mass Singer right here on Fox Montana, and we're bringing back our little weekly trivia game. It's my favorite. Unmasking Montana. Here's your first